Okay. Has he left? No, I hear him burning. Oh, he's just still swimming in the water is the problem. I need you to die. Like, ah, uh, shoo. Okay, you don't get it, do you? Come here. Yeah. See, the cool thing is you burn and I don't. So even if you did like eat my brains, it's gonna be a very short dinner. Also just realized he could have lit me on fire, so I should have been a little bit more careful uh, making fun of the zombie. Awesome. I'm gonna get a little bit of wood. I don't know how much wood I need, I can't quite remember. I also have no way of keeping track of time, so who knows how long this episode's gonna be, especially since I just stood there for a good, what is it, like 15 minutes is nighttime? I don't know. Uh, but that could be the beginnings of my house, actually. I could just live inside a, a Mesa uh, hill. Mesa hill. Mesa hill. Mesa so hill. Uh, I could just <laughs> live here. And what's nice is there's tons and tons of clay, and you can use clay for a whole shit ton of things. Plus, hardened clay looks really nice, and it's kind of expensive to get normally. So it's, I mean, in 1.7.2, there's the whole uh, Mesa biomes. So I guess it's not really that big of a deal anymore. It used to be like, oh, you know, woo, you got, you know, hardened clay. That's so hard to get. You must be really good at it. Just playing Minecraft. I don't know. It's not hard. It's just kind of expensive and time consuming. You would have to go and swim, do a lot of diving to find the clay. And then you would have to uh, turn it into, actually, how do you make hardened clay? That's how you dye the clay. How do you... How do you make it harden? Do you just cook a block of clay, maybe? Fuck if I know. Actually, is there hardened sand, ice, dirt, clay? Yeah. Yeah, see, so you would have to go swim, find the clay, cook it up, and it would just take a whole lot of time, and people would be like, wow, look, you've got tons of clay everywhere. You're amazing. Ow, hiccup. But yeah, now it's just kind of there in the world. Which isn't bad. I've always find thought it was a bit weird that, like, one of the things in vanilla Minecraft that shows that you're kind of a good, like, you're good at Minecraft is, uh, the amount of decorative blocks you have. Decorative blocks are kind of a big deal. They're a sign of wealth. Um, that or just a million billion things. But, I mean, yeah, decorative blocks are kind of a sign of wealth. Um... I don't know. I've always just thought that was interesting. Because in, with mods, it's like a sign of wealth would be fucking, I don't know. Like, I don't know, a house made out of diamond blocks. Or just actual, like, j power management and stuff that are actually doing things. I guess you could say a sign of wealth in Minecraft would be, um, uh, like mob, mob farms, maybe? Because you have to find the, the, um, what's it called? The spawner and go from there or something. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe like really big redstone contraptions, but you don't need because redstone. Like I mean, if you think about it, you just unless you're planning on having a redstone contraption, you kind of just end up with redstone. Like oh wow, I've got so much redstone and I don't even know what to do with it. Like that's kind of a thing that happens. Um, in in Minecraft. So yeah. I don't know. Because then it's not really a sign of wealth having a big redstone contraption. It's a sign of, look how smart I am. I have lots of redstone. He's so, he's so good. I don't know. Anyways, I do have a bit of a house. I've carved myself out a place in the world, one might say. Both metaphorically and non-metaphorically. Um, there we go. I can have an orange roof, I could have red walls, I could have stone brick floor. That's some ways away. I still need... Oh, not a chest, not a chest. I already have a chest. Actually, I could go for a double chest. Because I don't think there's iron chests in Galacta... Whatever the fuck I'm playing. <laughs> moon quest. Uh, moon quest, but I'm going to Mars. Yep, don't judge. Also, can you do... This wouldn't make sense, but nah, I didn't think so. It's fine. 
Um, oh no, that's a block. No, I don't want to do that. <sighs> Give me the ash back. Ash back? Give me the ash back? Why does that sound so weird? The ash back. Oh, I don't know. Ah, I should do something with that book, though. It's kind of creepy. I'm not sure if I want it. Ooh, and it's getting dark again. I know I have wool, though, so... If I make a bed... Right... There we go. There we go. And then I just need a little bit of wood so I can have a door. Door! Nope. I did my best, though. Let's try that again. Door... One, two... Didn't actually need to do that. There we go. And a door. Uh, <laughs> my house isn't quite as secure as I would like it to be. Let's grab a little bit more whatever this stuff is. Hardened clay. Unfortunately, oh no, because I'm in a different dimension. Never mind. I was going to say, if I sleep, I'm setting my spawn here. But if I'm in a different dimension... If I died, I would just end up at the spawn of the dimension anyways. I thought it was weird, though. Don't let him die or something like that. Or no, don't let him expire, I think it was. I can't remember. I thought that was weird. I don't know what that's about. But we'll see one of these days. Anyways, here's my house. Looks pretty damn swish, if I do say so myself. It needs... um. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Using ash to smelt things. It's kind of not how it works, but whatever. Let's lay in bed, and when we wake, all our things will be done smelting. No, it won't. Because that's not how Minecraft works. I really like, um, speaking of, I like Somnia's, uh, or the mod Somnia. I just like the idea it has of being able to sleep and actually having a past time. Because Minecraft, by itself, um, like, there's no way to pass time other than to pass time. To just let time pass is the only way to do it. Um, you can't speed a lot of things up. Like, this furnace is as top tier as this furnace is ever gonna get. It's never gonna be any faster. You can get more furnaces, but you can't get your furnace to actually go any faster. And you can work around that limitation in the sense of an ass ton of hoppers hooked up to furnaces. Ah, oh, my pick broke. You know, hooked up to furnaces, pumping things in and pumping things out. Which, which is kind of awkward in the way that they work because hoppers are whole blocks and then you only goes in, it doesn't go out. So, but yeah, you know, you, you, you get the point. Um, you can, if you try your best to automate it, um, but it's still gonna take, you know, what is it, like, 10 seconds for a block to smelt? I can't remember. Something like that. Um, I, I don't know. It's just, I think that's interesting. Anyway, Somnia, it, um, doesn't change anything. It just lets you bypass the whole time aspect, um, because you're sleeping, and time is actually passing when you're sleeping. Which is cool, because when I, I know that when beds first came out, my thought was, Oh, sweet, I can sleep, and then I can wake up, and all my stuff will be done smelting. No, it didn't happen like that, and I was so disappointed. It was just, oh, I slept, and then the night passes. Setting your spawn was cool. I've always lived right next to spawn. Like, literally, I would spawn, and then I'd just be like, This is where my house is, or very, very close too um that's just kind of how it would be but um you know setting a bed was like yay now i can explore my world without worrying i hated exploring worlds because i hated um dying and being like well shit i died a, some like thousand blocks away i have no fucking idea where that was um and i have no way of getting back there really um and I mean, that's still technically true, but you could also bring a bed with you and then be like, well, I could just sleep here, and then if I die, I've only died a hundred blocks away, you know, while I was out doing things. So, you know, it has that aspect. Uh, extra blocks, I think, is the mod? Yeah, extra blocks. It's either extra or open blocks. It adds a sleeping bag, which is pretty nifty. Doesn't set your spawn, but does let you allow, does allow you to pass the night. So you can actually just carry the, and then you can carry it around. Um, instead of having to put a bed down all the time and just sleep in that, which is cool in the sense that, um, 
Uh, because most of the time, it's just like, if you do pass the night, you don't have to worry about dying. Uh, you know, skeletons and spiders and uh, zombies are your biggest concern, really. Unless you're really bad, creepers aren't actually that dangerous. They're like, oh no, shit, you blew up all my important things. They're not dangerous, really, creepers. I mean, you hear them, you're standing there, you're doing something, you hear them coming, oh no, and then you can usually avoid them. I mean, you kind of have to have a creeper explode point blank for it to kill you. I haven't actually been scared or had a creeper kill me in a while. I have had creepers blow up my shit, though. Um, which is annoying, but that's like the only thing you have to worry about is a creeper ruining everything. And, uh, nowadays you have, uh, what's it called? Game rule mob griefing, so you can actually just turn that off if you wanted to. Not that I do, but you have the option, which is nice. You didn't have the option back when I was a kid. Uh, when I was a kid. Well, yeah, that's true, because I've been playing back since it was alpha. So, I've been playing this for, if I may, since I was like... Oh, fuck if I know. How how long has Minecraft been out? I want to say f since I was 14, but I don't think Minecraft's oh, been out for four years. Has it? It might might have been. Um, But yeah, I've been playing it for a while, and yeah, it's it's funny. I can remember a lot of my um, houses pretty vividly just because of I would get home and I'd be very excited to, to build in my legit survival world. And uh, it was funny because once I discovered modding, it was like, okay... This is amazing. I can, I can never go back to vanilla. Like, I just can't do it. Um, it's, I just, I don't know. You feel like you're missing something. And it, it wasn't like my first experience with modding was like, that's it! No, nothing else. Because my first experience with modding was actually my first experience with cheating. And when I first discovered modding, I was like, oh, modding is cheating. It's the same thing. It's, it's tantamount. It's paramount. It's, um... I just realized this is normal, and this is red. I didn't even realize. Uh, I thought this was pink or something. But yeah, because I was looking, when I was a kid, I was looking for a mod. I was, I had a legit world, and it had like a tram system, and I wanted the tram system to go somewhere. So I was like, I'll build a city, but I, and I had a, quite a few blocks, but I didn't have enough blocks. So I was like, ha! Oh, <laughs> Oh, what a waste of time. I could do bamboo thatching and then turn it into sticks. Which is... Oh, no, because it's four to... Oh, that makes sense. Oh, I could just turn all my bamboo thatch... Oh, but then you can't turn sticks into wood is the thing. Mmm. Okay, I gotta be careful there. Also, I have actual wood, so I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, I had a tram system. And I was like, I wanted to go to a city. And I, w I actually remember, like, showing my dad the this, the uh, tram system I built. And he was like, oh, that's pretty nifty. Uh, but the thing was, I didn't have the blocks for it. I just had a lot of blocks, but I didn't have enough, not nearly enough. I cleared out, in legit survival, a good, like, 60 by 60 area with a couple of, like, picks and shovels and stuff. And, um, and then it, but, like, it was a good 60 by 60 by, like, there was a corner that wasn't cleared out. And the corner was a mountain. And uh, I was like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to clear this mountain out. I don't think World Edit was around, or if it was, I didn't know what it was. Um, and so I was like, oh, I guess the only way to do it is to cheat. So I went and I looked for um, something that would allow me to mine it out quickly. And I, even though I wanted to cheat... When I did download a mod, which was called, like, the Diamond Fist, one leather with diamond surrounding it, and it made a fist that would insta-broke any block. And, um, even though I had the intention of cheating, I still use legit block, uh, my legit hard-earned diamonds to make these fists. Why? Because cheating back then involved going into inventory edit and spawning items in, which was kind of a pain to do. So I was just like, ah, oh, forget it. I have enough diamonds. I'll just do it myself yeah but a lot of my blocks I would just throw into lava um, I don't think I ever played at the part where like you could throw things into lava to smelt them I don't think that was ever an option I really had kind of a bummer I kind of would have liked to have popcorn smelting it looked nifty anyways that's enough about <coughs> random babbly shit 
I have a house now, which is nice. Also, uh, this, this series is going to be a bit more, um, I can hear something just dot. I can hear a spider somewhere just being retarded. I also, I like bamboo a lot now that I know you can turn it into thatching. Very nifty. Anyways, no, this series is going to be, um, unedited for the, m like, not unedited, of course, but, um, un cut like I'm not going to cut from one bit to another too much I might do a little bit of that like oh I'm I don't know I'm gonna see what I can do because the moon quest series they've been you know recording for some good 23 episodes and a whole like 15 of those episodes I'm referring to the main channel of course were just them like what was it uh, mining and I feel bad because uh, from, from, I'm already kind of better than them at Minecraft. I don't want to be rude, but let's be honest here. <laughs> let's be honest. And also better at mods. Not to be rude. I love you guys. But seriously, way fucking better than those guys. Those fucking idiots don't know what they're doing. Um, and, uh, and as such, for me to cut is, is like, I will be on the moon in like five episodes, and so to prevent that, I think I'm just gonna try to cut as little as I can, which may mean uh, I have bits that are rambly, or may mean I have bits that where I don't talk at all, and if that happens, I am sorry, but there's not much I can do about it. Um, I will, however, do my best to be entertaining at all times, which shouldn't be difficult because I'm a hilarious motherfucker. Uh, it's 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 true. Let's I mean let's just let's let's be honest here. It's it's very true. Um, I do need orange clay though. I need a whole bunch of this orange clay, and then I can either use the normal clay or you can use hardened clay. I've learned for uh, ooh, ooh, screw gun. You can use hardened clay for um. Nope, J K. Maybe that's just the new version of, yeah. Just the new version. Okay, I lied. Because, okay, uh, jump.craft is 1.6.2. And then 1.6.2, Tinker's Construct lets you use hardened clay instead of um, normal clay. Well, both. It lets you use both. And so I was going to say I could do that, but not, apparently. But that's okay, because there's a bunch of just, like, plain clay here. So I can just scoop some of that up. I do want to get a smeltery up and running as soon as possible. Something I never got up in my, uh, multiplayer moon quest. Never got it. Uh, really unfortunate because it's kind of the only ore processing we have available. Um, is there any, I, I'm pretty sure I asked this last time, is there any other ore processing? Processing? I do not believe there is. Um, I didn't put this mod pack together. I mean, I did put a mob pack together, and hot damn, was it amazing. Ooh, I did not mean to turn on F8. Just meant to turn on F7. So I can see where I should put these torches, which is about here. We're good. And then if I check out, is F7 even turned on? Yeah, see? Right there, yellow square. Yellow X, rather. I can't see them on the other side. Oh, there we go, yeah. So, it does lag things just a little bit because it's rendering a million yellow X's all over the place. But yeah, so let's put this orange roof on. Can't you do this is so art deco, it's amazing. Um I feel like I'm in a clay adobe. I should put some sort of pattern on the wall because this is just weird. Um and maybe a window right here. I don't have any glass. And all the stuff that I have is really... Oh, 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 oh. Let me turn that off because the amount of times I throw things away when I'm trying to drop them is annoying. Um, and I also don't want to be compelled to cheat things in. Uh, if I if I uh, have that off, I sh it should be a little harder for me to cheat things. Um, just enough to, like, sway me from not doing it, hopefully. So... Get out of there. What are you doing? Get out of there. Fool. Let's grab this pick. Let's go to bed. I said go to bed. Go to bed. There we go. 